hi good morning today let us discuss about the basic how we can uh, read basic otpi report in oracle fusion okay so oracle uh, giving that uh, functionality uh, in build uh, in sas i mean oracle fusion cloud so there is a one of that will help us to build a basic reports okay uh, reports and sas itself without you know pass uh, uh, without pass okay so oh, let me just basic uh, report i am going to build that is the just uh, okay how to get the on hand details for the item or uh, inventory or sub inventory just uh, to know how we get a report build and how it can uh, you know work that report just log in this uh, uh, instance then uh, go to the navigations okay here go tools in the tools there is a report on analytics just to click the report on analytics then here just uh, there is a create right just create click the analysis okay yeah here these are the func uh, you know uh, subject areas so where okay it's a depends on which subject area we need to get that you know data so let's say for example inventory related then inventory related subject areas it will available and uh, let's say procurement procurement subject areas it will available each subject area will have you know their own uh, fields it's categorized here so i'm searching for inventory since i'm going to uh, you know uh, build for the on hand right so these are the areas we have available for the inventory see uh, here this abc real time uh, this is the related to you know um, cycle count and this is the on hand related this is the cycle count again this is the some uh, transaction related data and this is one also inventory transaction these are transfer orders and organization okay so i am going to just uh, select inventory balance real time click the continue Here, just expand subject area. Select what are the fields we need. Okay, here see different areas we have different uh, folders. So uh, I'm I need uh, inventory organization code to select. Okay, just select the inventory organization code and click the move. Then it will move. Then if we want organization name as well, then we can. Uh, let me see do we have inventory organization here name name yeah okay name okay next just i don't want other uh, details if you want then you can uh, place this other details okay and uh, i need sub inventory as well we need sub inventory as well so okay then i'm going to select item related details just in inventory there is a item number okay i'm selecting the item number i don't want other just i am giving i'm selecting the item number then we need on hand right so let's see do we have anything on hand yeah see here current on hand so on hand quantity okay 
so these are the details i have selected then uh, click the next see here you see if you want to move you know or uh, just align, i mean uh, place of that columns right fields right then you can uh, move up and down here so by using this options then i don't want that just uh, let it be then so title what is the title just on hand right let me okay and i want that all in a table right just a table we want anything is you know oh, graph related representation and also we can select so i don't i'm not selecting anything just simple okay so this is the layout just if you want then uh, here are just additional layout options prompt section and the, all the things you can add it next i'm not selecting So, if you want to, let's say, highlight any color if you want, then now we can add the colors and all. So, where you want to save this one? Name, what is the name? Okay. Next. Okay, let me put that. Uh, see here demo for on okay then i'm save i'm saving uh, you know uh, custom in custom we can create a new, our own folder if you want then uh, demo I have created this so this is the folder I'm saving in demo see navigation is the share folder folders custom in custom demo we created the folder okay just click the save, save. okay done now let's see or how it would be just I click that to browse here there is a browse catalog i click the browse catalog okay where we saved shared folder now custom here demo okay if you open this just click the open see this is the organization demo and this organization by and if you want this just we can see see organization by okay and let's say i want filter uh this report i mean uh, you know uh, i want to run this report only particular organization I mean uh, i want to pass the in parameters or any item uh, i'm going to okay yeah fine then click the home okay here also we have this our report name if you want see open that then again here you can go and you can uh, you know recent it will have or else just click the open it will go we can go there see here
okay it will this it will come this whole I mean this format or else this is the navigation right just to go home go home here just we have this right so dashboard my dashboard let's explore catalog here it will come right just click the catalog here just click the edit click the edit then go the prompts in this screen go the prompts here in prompts right here there is a new just click the new color prompt I need parameter as organization okay and here the choose the list of the value okay I want another one let's say item number as well choose the list okay save save okay now see these are the list of the values we will get go the catalog again okay here this is the navigation right just it will come this page go that shared folder custom and demo we have this one uh, demo for your uh, hand balance it will come. then select or let's say i'm selecting okay and items see we have many so if you want to search more i'm just i have selected here only we have the limit is the 2000 so i selected 2000 items then click that okay see we got that item I mean you know only for particular or else let me just give that only organization one organization instead of three Wrong. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, here just open, run right. I'm giving the inventory organization one. Let's say I'm giving. I'm selecting. Open. only five items okay click the okay see we got we got the only inventory organization code is the only uh, for uh, 001 uh, Seattle sub inventory item number what is the on hand here I hope it will help you and if you want to edit anything you can edit or you can want print you can print and if you want to export and you can export email copy these are the options we need to explore okay thank you see you next video